we go to Gaussian blur, I'll just put the values a little bit lower. Okay guys, welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be making this. This is a Photoshop manipulation that I found online. So I was also able to get the source photo. So this is the photo. This is the output. I are going to be doing this in Corel Draw only. So um, um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just subscribe now. Um, you can share this video to your friends, learn how to do this. and. This channel where we do everything um, in Corel Draw, so we take manipulations done in Photoshop and try them out on Corel Draw. So you learn a lot in, on this channel. So, so I'm going to take this out. Let me just keep it by the side and we'll work with this one here. Okay. So first thing for me to do, I think, would be to just duplicate this picture to the side like this. So as you can see, we have to just in case I just did this in case maybe I uh, messed this picture up. So I still have a backup here. So if you notice from this one here, we have the lip is red and the picture looks to be black and white or something like that. So what we do here is um we'll just use the pen tool to create a mask of the lip like so. So create uh, um, just make sure you you take this very well. Like this, as you can see. So what I'll do next is to hold shift down and click on the main picture and intersect. Once I intersect, I'll take out this one and delete it. Now, if you notice, I already have, I have this lip here now. So I use Ctrl X and Ctrl V or I'll just use um, shift and page up to take it to the top. Just in case, maybe later I might want to do one or two things. So now this main picture here, we'll go to bitmap, we'll go to mode, and we'll go to grayscale. As you can see. So I also use Control B to increase the brightness. So okay, what I'll do is I'll, I'll also increase the contrast like this. So as you can see, we have this and we have this. As you can see, we're getting there. So next thing to do, now if you notice there are some bars here that look like maybe we should looking through a window or something like that. So what I'll do next, okay, let me just use Ctrl B again. Let me increase the brightness a little. Let's use plus three, increase contrast to 25. Okay, so what I'll do now is to create a kind of container that I'll put this picture in. And remember, I haven't done this before. So I just doing this um, most of this project I do I, I don't um, maybe practice them before before doing the tutorial we don't do it together. So I'll power clip this into this box that I created. I'll remove all outlines. Now, if we move into this power clip, I, I can see I power clipped that design to this box here. So now if we move into this power clip. Now we're in the power clip. I will highlight this one on group because I, I grouped everything before. So now let's see how many bars they have here. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six bars. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to take. Okay, you now what? Let's go inside the power clip and do all these things inside. So we'll take this bar, we'll make them black like this. So we'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, six bars. So let's group it first. So we'll arrange it and see how it looks. Yeah. So let's see. So something like this, 
I think something like this is good. Let's see how this one is. Yeah, something like this is good. Something like this is good. So after doing this, we, have, um, we grouped all this. So I can just create another duplicate copy here on the side, just in case. So now, while all this is grouped and I highlight them, I don't go to effect and I'll go to blow and I'll go to Gaussian blur. If I go to Gaussian blur, I'll just put the values a little bit lower. Like this. So, voila, we already have the effect. As you can see, we have the effect done on Corel Draw. This kind of window effect. So on the main picture itself, we can brighten it a little, turn and increase the contrast. So as you can see, we have this window effect. So that's it for that. Please you can uh, make sure to like this video and if you have any questions, you can comment below. If you have any um, um if you have any manipulation you want um, us to treat, just comment down below and make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notification so that anytime I drop a new video, you'll get notified. So thank you.